Stephen F. Austin State Park. Thirty-seven. I just drove right by it. We're gonna make another loop. All right, we're gonna try it again here. Thirty-three. It's Thirty-five. Oh, we're right next to the park host. Look at that. Okay, here we are underneath a nice big tree hanging over us, which isn't going to fall tonight. over on the left. This looks good. We'll get out, check it for level, and see how it goes. Well, we got ourselves situated here. We're right under a nice big tree here. Spanish moss. I would assume that's Spanish moss. And we went down to see a little local site here. Um, San Felipe de Austin, uh, historic site, and we got all set up, put my awning out to dry out, it was a little bit wet this morning, uh, where we were, but this is, uh, these are nice big sites, I am surprised. The, uh, when we came in, that was actually a golf course, so I'm not sure if it's a public golf course or uh, private, but they have a nice big site here, and uh, this is really cool. The uh, camp host is right over there, so we are close by, and there's firewood over there if we feel inclined to burn up six dollars so we shall uh, look around the area and give a little report for you okay just up a little bit from the uh, campground area where we're at is the amphitheater and uh, if you haven't been to a ranger talk they're very interesting they really are good and it's a great way to uh, spend a little time just getting familiar with the area and the wildlife. They do an excellent job. So this one, I'm not sure what uh, time of the season that they do have ranger talks, but if they do have one, uh, then by all means, go ahead and arrange to go at least one night just to see how you like it, but they're usually very good. And just on up here a little bit is uh, the wildlife viewing area. There's a blind and uh, right now, February 6th, or no, 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 excuse me, March 6th, they, the uh, feeding trays are empty because there's no birds over there. But it would be worth checking out. And this is just at the end uh, of the uh, camping area, and then it goes back, I believe, to a, a group camp area over here. Mm, different color of a lizard. Right there. That's a different one. So we've seen four different types of lizards. Pretty cool. Almost walked right by him. The uh, trail that we're on right now is a pileated trail uh, for a woodpecker. And you can see this is really nice and green here. And then there's these uh, fronds, like palm leaves, uh, 
not sure what it, what they are exactly. But one tip I wanted to point out is a lot of people bike ride through these, and it, you, they're not going to see much. Uh, the, you know, yeah, you're going to see the things around you, but we, when we hike, we take a trail. We may go 50 feet and then we stop, and then we just listen and we look around us. And that's when we find the animals down in the, the bushes or the birds. They'll move around and fly around. And insects, lizards, which we just saw a minute ago. And uh, that makes our experience a lot better. It takes us a longer time to uh, see things, but we see so much more because we're not moving like a herd of antelope through a field. And uh, we really get to enjoy the sights, stop and wait, and something will come by usually that you wouldn't ordinarily have not seen. So, this is really nice. Other green lizard. Catching some rays on the tree. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a little update, uh, finishing note on Stephen F. Austin State Park. This is a Texas State Park, and uh, if you like easy hikes, really great greenery, and I hope they have flowers there now. Uh, we didn't see any, unfortunately, while we were there. Lots of lizards getting out, and I, I cut out a few of those clips because it was getting a little bit weird. But um, it, it really has some nice places to go on parks, and, or to go on hikes and walks, and kid-friendly too. So uh, that is well worth going. Now it was $37 for two nights. We were only there a short time, um, which works out to what about uh, $15, $19 a day. Um, be sure to get your Texas State Park Pass if you're going to stay in any Texas State Park more than oh, five days, a, sick, a week. It'll pay for itself, and it's really great. So I, I do recommend it. It was really nice to get out there and hike. We didn't um, get but one day to go hiking. I'm not sure why I didn't book it longer. Uh, I should have, but... Uh, it really was enjoyable. So get out there, do Texas State Parks. They have a lot to offer. Really great, even during the, uh, the COVID uh, virus shutdown, you know, we couldn't go into some of the places. So that would make it even better. So guys, get out there and do it. Do it Garland style, okay? Thanks.